Hi, I'm Lauren Bregitzer, an Ableton Certified Trainer and the Audio Professor, and I'm here to show you how to cut video to audio and using just audio and or video in general in Ableton Live 11. And you can do that really easily using playlists. Uh, first, a couple of handy things I'll show you really quick. Uh, first one is if you're looking for a place to find video clips that you can download, um, there's a ton. These are the example clips that I'm using here. Uh, there's a ton over here on uh, archive.org. You can go to archive.org here and just click on video and just click all video. And you can just search through different categories and find a bunch of different video clips. You know, you can spend hours and days on it. It just takes takes quite a bit of time, longer than you're used to to download, but hey, it's free, so what can you do? Um, the other thing is the use of a program to convert your video. So uh, Ableton Live likes to use like H.264 video, dot mp4 type video if you have something that's not in that format i suggest using a program called handbrake uh, handbrake.fr and that's an open source video converter and then i also recommend using that converter to take these video clips and scale them upscale or downscale them so they're all the exact same um um dimensions as far as pixels go otherwise it'll just kind of look bounce them export them in a little bit of a weird way so to keep things consistent it's good to use handbrake to convert your videos so that it's all the same resolution all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just insert an audio track so the video clips with actual seeing video only works in the arrangement view here. So I'm gonna take this video clip here and I just have a, a drum beat from uh, some loops from the Synthwave pack here. But um, what, what you can do is you can drag it and, and just use video straight up. I can go in here and grab my uh, converted video here and just drop it in there. And you can see it'll play the video. And it's gonna play the audio. Now I don't want the audio from the video. I wanna be able to cut the video to the audio and I mean, you can have the audio from the video if you want, but um, that's not what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm really gonna do is I'm actually going to use the playlist. So I'm going to right click on here and go to insert take lanes. And I have seven different video clips. So I'm just gonna do this seven times. Five, six, seven. All right, so I got seven different uh, take lanes in here. And so what I'm going to do is, you know, some of these might need to be trimmed down, which I can do easily here. Um, I'm just going to grab each of these videos and I'm going to drop them in the main playlist here so I can cut through any like credits or anything that I don't want to use. So if I zoom in, um, you know, from the top, this this one's good straight across. I don't need to do any editing. I'm just going to click and drag it into the take lane below it. I'm going to grab a different video here. Um, this one here. And this one may, I'm gonna put this in the top play, top of the playlist. And so I can see there's credits here because it's like some weird play thing. So I'm gonna zoom to the point where I don't see credits anymore. And that's where I want to start. So I'm gonna drag that there. Um, and I'm gonna just drop it down into a different playlist. Um, same thing for these other three. Let's grab this one. Um, how does this look, how does this thing look from the top? Um, Put it, the, put it at the top of the playlist. Uh, move my cursor through there. This one's good from the very top, so it's good to go. Let's drop that down. And a few more. This one here. So this one right there. And a couple of little small ones. Now what I can do with these small ones you know, just like I do with audio clips, I can just, uh, these are from drive-in movie ads. I'm just gonna hit duplicate it, just duplicate them a bunch of times. And the, this last one here, drop that in there. Zoom in, drag it over the top. And again, I'm just gonna duplicate that a whole bunch of times. That should be plenty. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in, and you know my grid is gonna is you know adjusts based upon what I want to do. Um, but maybe I want to start with this first clip here, and just like you would with the regular you know take lanes, if I want to promote that and have that video be up top, and I'm gonna to set this for every bar, I can hit the Enter key, and it's gonna put that video 
in that first bar. And if I want to change, and you can see, you know, it's going to do the same thing with the colors. Um, you want to do this second one here, and this one here, and then this one here. So you can see now when I play through it, uh, this little video window that Ableton pops up, and we'll hear it play back. And that's awesome. So what I can now do, and let's, let's move this around somewhere else, is I can take, uh, maybe I want to edit on quarter notes. I can absolutely do that. Just drag, you know, quarter notes. And even go so far, go down to eighth notes and 16th notes. And it's as much as uh, your computer can handle. Um, And then I can take that drive in. I can, I can copy from here. I want that same same thing there. Command C, copy, paste it in there. So now I have all these edits: um, half notes, sixteenth notes, or you know, quarter notes, and, and eighth notes. And there you have it. And now you can export that whole thing as well as the audio. So it'll create a, uh, an MP4 video file. So I'm just going to select it all. So it's just those first seven bars. I can go to File, Export Audio and Video. And by default, this video is turned off. So click to turn that on. And you can go in and edit the settings. So you can um, change the resolution, frame rate, and bit rate. But... Uh, I keep it as is, make it a 1080p video, and just hit export. That's going to export the WAV file as well as an MP4 with the audio from the video on there. So I hit export and hit save. It's going to render that video. And there you have it. Let's uh, check it out. So there you have it. That's how you can cut video to audio in Ableton Live. And especially if it's locked into the grid, you can chop it up using the different take lanes in a video. So thanks for watching and have fun making music.